Welcome to Anglia Car Auctions. This is our first little short preview video uh, for our next sale, which is the first sale of 2022, January the 29th and 30th at uh, Anglia Car Auctions at our premises in Kings Lynn. Now we are hoping to open up, so we're welcoming you back uh, welcoming the public back but we will have to obviously just see if that is a allowed be safe and the right thing to do with this current new uh, variant of the uh, COVID-19 Om Omicron that's it um, so welcome just a few little uh, cars I'd just like to point out to you in the corner a bit of a, an anomaly we've always done very well with Saabs and this is a Saab 90 it's a little bit of an oddity in Saabs. It's got the front end of a Saab 99 and the rear end of a 900 saloon. They only made it for about three years but in this really great period beige um, cracking condition car really really like it so we're quite keen to see where that goes. Going on to this Capri now it's a 2.8 injection special um, but it is only traveled 28,000 miles and when you look around the car you really can see that we're hopefully uh, get out and have a little drive just to uh, show you around how it uh, works everybody loves the Capri it's not raining so um, I think we're quite uh, quite enjoy that moving on I'm always fascinated by um, cars that are a little bit special they were created for a purpose and the Renault 5 Turbo 2 is very much a car of its era. Um, the 1.4 litre turbocharged engine, the engine is in the rear as you notice there's no rear seats. Um, the car's got some aftermarket uh, Sparco bucket seats in. The originals do come with the car uh, as does uh, an original set of wheels but hopefully we'll be taking this one out shortly but absolutely iconic cars 1985 um, super condition really really striking rather rather fond of that and one we won't be taking out but I would very much love to um, is a car we've had a huge amount of early interest in and it's this mark 1 Jaguar it's 1959 um, Jaguar Mark 1s are quite uncommon now. This is a 3.4 manual overdrive, which is the, the pick of the, of the crop when it comes to Mark 1 models. But what makes this car so special is its first owner was one George Formby, hence the number plate. Dale, if we have a little, a little close-up of the number plate. Um, GF2, we've got a fantastic provenance with this car. Uh, it's been restored over a number of years and I've known this car personally uh, for 20 years so um, I've got a little bit of an attachment to it I hope it goes to uh, a very good home um, as I'm sure it will but really superb very very genuine car um, I don't we can have a little look at this interior Dale but um, <clears throat> come and have a come and have a look in there what a lovely place to be you can imagine George and Beryl having uh, many little afternoon uh, drives and George Formby was at the time pretty much a megastar. I think it was the highest paid um, British entertainer. Um, very much a well-known figure. As you can see, looking at the car, it has turned out nice again. We would just like to say these are just a few of the entries that are entered. If you've got a car that you're considering consigning, do get in touch. Drop us an email, um, go on the website www.angliacarauctions.co.uk, send us some photos, pick up the phone and talk to us. We are closed from uh, this Friday afternoon, so tomorrow afternoon we are closed until the 3rd of January. Officially we're here on the 4th, but um, some of us will be here on the 3rd, the keen, the keen ones amongst us. Um, so yeah, do just get in touch, 
give us a, uh, a, an email. Don't wait, we're still answering emails over Christmas and the new year. Um, there's lots of exciting cars coming in. And I will just take this opportunity to say from all of us at Anglia Car Auctions, have a happy Christmas and a safe and prosperous new year. But hopefully in a little while, we'll come back and we'll be going out in a car. Thank you. Welcome, here we are now. Uh, I'm Guy Snelling, welcome to Anglia Car Auctions. We've got Dale behind the uh, camera and we are in a rather special Capri uh, 2.8 injection special. Uh, I'm sitting in a rather comfy Recaro seat looking at the original Fitment Ford radio cassette um, FM and uh, what a nice place this is to be. The first Capri I drove I remember was probably some 20 odd years ago. It was a 1.6 laser and I picked it up in Norwich and uh, drove it to North Norfolk in the snow. Um, although it was only a 1.6 with a rear wheel drive in the snow it was certainly quite uh, an interesting drive back but this is a completely different car. It's lovely. So with just 28,000 miles on the clock it feels tight. Um, it's really quite uh, quite special. Um, it's a little bit more rapid than the 1.6 laser as well. We're just going for a little drive around Norfolk. As you'll see, those of us, well, those of you that uh, follow the, um, the auction and the YouTube channel, we do try and uh, do a video and uh, extra photos of all the cars that uh, are consigned to the sale within reason. So do follow the sale, click on the link to the relevant cars. If there's not a video on it yet, it's probably just uh, pending. Do have to have to have constraints of the uh, winter weather and daylight hours. But it's quite a fun thing to do to experience these cars. And this is a car that I would say you really could use as a everyday or occasional use classic. Um, wouldn't want to put too many miles on it, keep the mileage nice and low, but um, a really quality car. Dash isn't cracked, body works nice and straight, um, very, very solid and well presented car this. So if you have a look on the website you'll see all the uh, photos we've taken, read the description as well, it's quite a, an extensive written description on the history. We uh, are shortly closing for uh, Christmas, Christmas break, and we wish everybody uh, well. Please keep safe, stick to uh, government guidelines, unless you're in number 10, obviously, and then I think it's anything goes, but uh, um, if you could just keep nice and safe during these times, it would be very much appreciated and uh, if everything goes according to plan we'll be able to welcome you back to the sale we haven't had people attending our sale for uh, nearly two years now so we'd really like to see you uh, back again and it does mean that everybody needs to play uh, play ball stay safe and act in a sensible manner but more on this capri is this one you've driven down no, I think Freddie, maybe Freddie took this one out. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really uh, supercar. And we're very, very fortunate to live. Let's go around. Interesting bit of turning around, someone. Um, very, very fortunate to live where we do in uh, Norfolk. We're in West Norfolk, Kings Lynn. And we've got some fantastic roads near us. Um, it's not too busy, it gets a little bit busy in the summer. It's something we can really, uh, really enjoy and get to take these, these cars out. And some of the other cars we have consigned, we've got quite a selection. We've got a lovely uh, 355 Ferrari. I think many people would agree when I say that that is quite possibly one of the most attractive of the uh, 
modern day uh, Ferraris. Um, very, very pretty car. And uh, one that's gaining quite a bit of attention in the uh, in the market we've got a uh, rs 1600 injection escort um, coming in we always have quite a number of fords it's more regarding this one i've got it's actually entered no reserve it's a very uh, very good question dale um, Sometimes people ask, why is that car entered on a, a no reserve basis? Is there something wrong with it? And no, that is, that is not the case. Um, often, Angular Car Auctions is a very well attended sale. And um, it makes a lot of sense when you're confident that a car is going to sell well, such as this 28,000 mile 2.8 injection Capri, it will find its level. So um, it's quite safe, and obviously you get quite a lot of attention on a car entered on a no reserve basis. We're having a few changes uh, just at the, at the auction, just a couple of uh, alterations, just to make things a little bit easier for people when they come back um, with the clouds. So it's always, been a, a, a large number of people attend and uh, we've just tried to uh, re-imagine halls one and two just so we can have the same number of people but perhaps spread out more uh, a little bit evenly uh, more evenly spaced to so make people feel a little bit more comfortable and at home and those of you that have uh, been to the sale before um, we've been well, following um, the uh, uh, lockdown and running behind sort of closed doors the viewing has taken place on the Wednesday Thursday and Friday which has created a really good opportunity for people to come up and have a look at the cars talk to us we've been able to catch up with some some customers and friends the George Formby car, just um, touching on that, uh, really, really fascinating history. Although George didn't have it for very long, um, he had an accident in it on the uh, A47, just very, very near to where we were just driving. Only, a, I think, a, a bit of a bash with a Austin A30, and then he part exchanged the car at uh, Man Egerton in Norwich for a Mark 9, which explains why he didn't keep it for very long. Man Egerton uh, fixed the, uh, the car up and sold it on, and it's actually been in Norfolk ever since, which is rather, rather nice. Um, I was just looking through the old original Buff logbook, and I think the uh, uh, second or third owner in the uh, logbook the address was at the Blakeney Hotel um, and a uh, lot of you who will know that um, will know it was a favorite haunt of another motoring man um, Tim Birkin uh, who's actually buried in Blakeney Churchyard do remember if you're consigning a car to us please think that because we do these videos Obviously not, each video is not as extensive as this one. Um, the cars will need to come with fuel. We're moving them around, we're stop starting them, and there's nothing more embarrassing than uh, a car that doesn't start on the day because it's run out of fuel or stops halfway through the block. So don't just put a gallon in. There's uh, the number of cars we get a, a V12 Jag turned up. Tell <clears throat> so yeah, I'll put a gallon in that. You think, well, that's not going to... It's not going to help so uh, at least a quarter of a tank please and don't forget for the people that are buying them they need to get a little bit further away they need to just uh, have some fuel to at least get to a petrol station as well so do please think of that also fully charged batteries and if a, a car has a lot of classics do they have a, a bit of a drain 
just put an isolator on the battery or um really you know just explain to us that it does and we'll re uh, remove one of the uh, the terminals so the car doesn't drain it's always important for that to happen give us as much information as possible if there's a particular starting uh, procedure some cars have their own little idiosyncrasies do just let us know write it down on a piece of paper and uh, put it in the car so www.anglia car auctions is the uh, website do please get in touch if you've got a car um, or indeed a motorcycle uh, registration number or some automobilia that you'd like to sell we will be answering emails during the uh, Christmas and New Year break so please please do get in touch do uh, subscribe or follow or like the um, the YouTube channel they'll explain it a little bit better than me but I think you then get um, uh, notified of new videos and uh, any uh, any news and do keep watching although we're looking forward to welcoming you back obviously in um, January if we're not allowed if the restrictions um, tighten up and we're not allowed to do that um, then uh, obviously keep an eye on the website um, we don't want people turning up if we've had to keep it to a online only auction and we are back in If there's a car that you'd particularly like to have a look at and you're unable to make the uh, viewing days, although we can't just allow open viewing for all the cars, but if there's a particular car or you'd like a professional inspection, do just get in touch and uh, we will do all we can to make that happen. In fact, we've had someone up here today or two people up here today looking at one of the uh, one of the entries for the uh, the January sale so the 29th and 30th is the uh, next sale 2022 I don't know where this year's gone but it's certainly vanished quickly I will say this Capri drives absolutely spot on quite uh, quite happy with this And I'd just like to say from all of us at Anglia Car Auctions, Merry, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Year! Stay safe and we'll see you 2022.